Alright guys, welcome to the cup final today. It is against Wigan this time round and we are not taking it easy on them today, that is for sure. Welcome to Wembley once again for this cup final today, bright and sunny, as we like to see. So yes, uh, one change made today, Kaiser, who's usually playing DMF, is not going to play DMF today, instead Mafio is going to take that position. Uh, Mafio scored um, twice in this final against Spares a few seasons back, I've seen, I believe it was season four. Um, you never know, yeah, you, you, you could pop in another one today, <laughs> you never know, so um, he was on form, so that's one change made. Um, otherwise, the team is pretty much a standard team that is out there today. Schwartz is impressed, though, just recently. I mean, to be honest, Schwartz has always been impressive, but um, in his recent performances, he has stepped up and he has looked really good. Um, but he's on the bench today. Torres is going to be forward with Mutu. So, yeah, Ramos, Risa, Colchini, Puyol. Czech in goal. Iniesta attacking midfield. And ready to go. Wigan um, caused us some problems um, a few seasons back. It was like, I feel it was like a second to last game of the season, and they beat us and spoiled our unbeaten run in the league. So there was that. <laughs> um, so we're not going to take it easy today on them. Definitely not. Let's get out there. Let's go. Let's see what happens. And we always make it difficult for ourselves in these cup finals. So, <laughs> you know, we, we don't want to do that. It feels like the cup finals. Um, recently, um, well, well, in recent years is what I mean, is like, we feel like we're doing it the hard way, like we're making it more difficult for ourselves than it needs to be, <laughs> like we always go behind or something, um, and, and whatnot, so hopefully that is not the case today. Here's Ramos, he finds Gerard, and that will not be threaded through to Gerard, that one. Wigan, I believe, are sitting 10th in the table, in the league table this season. Oh, Czech has to head it out. He's away from goal. Oh, a little bit of danger there. Um, so they don't look like they're in any immediate danger of being relegated. Like, they're, they're five points off the relegation zone, so they're looking fine. Um, there's four games left to go in the league, so... It's still possible they could go down, but the the, the way it's 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 gone this season, it doesn't look like that's um, anything for them to worry about, honestly. But um, like I say, you know, any game can go in whatever direction it wants to. It, it's it's just a case of whatever it's feeling that day. Torres is in. It's Torres. Torres. Oh, throughout the keeper. Good save. To be fair, here's Baines. Baines, who I think... Um, it was it part 200 putting an own goal? Uh, and there was... I think there was like four penalties in that game, if I remember correctly. It was a crazy game. I know it was against Wigan. Um, always remember that one. And here's Gerard, And he tries to put in Mutu. It's Mutu. Has he taken it too far? It's Iniesta! Right place, right time, buries it. Mutu, I thought Mutu had pretty much given up the possession there and he finds Iniesta who's in acres of space in the middle there and all he's got to do is slot it beyond the keeper. You're thinking, is he going to hit this first time? No, he takes the touch. And then makes his decision. And that is 1-0. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that time when I think it was Riziki was playing for us. And he scored against Manchester United with a volley, I believe, in the cup final. And he just put it beyond the keeper in a similar position. I think at the same end of the pitch as well. And um, I still question why we got rid of him now. <laughs> now, you know, it's like, why? When he was really good. Um... I don't know. <laughs> things change. Things happen. It's Risa. It's Iniesta. Liverpool have taken a decent early lead in this game. It's Gerard. He's popping it in. 2 0. Risa.
Well, he gets himself up there. He puts himself in the right area, the right position. And you know what? When you gamble, it pays off. And that's Gerard's crossing. And the defender had to do better. He had to get that header. He needed to get it away. And it's falling apart for Wigan in this game so far. And 2-0 uh, is the score with 25 minutes on the clock. So that is the way it's going. It's the way it's shaping up. It's Torres here. And... Well, we said in the last episode with Ramos, and he was popping balls into the box, and he got man of the match, and he's done it again today, and that's incredible. That's 3-0. We're not at the halfway stage of the game yet, and Wigan are pretty much dead and buried already. It's a nice header. Again, the defence has to do better there. It's not good enough. Mutu is sitting behind the defender there. The defender needs to be in the way of that. He needs to be in front of it. Here's Kamal and Czech is out there to that. There's a league game against Rangers coming up in the next one. And, um, yeah, after that, it is a Champions League final against Spurs for Liverpool. That's coming up. That's going to be another Wigan corner. They really need something from this. They've only got three men in the box there. Oh, well. There's a reply. That makes it a little bit more interesting. Nice header, to be fair. That. I think it was under the keep. Was it under the keeper that one? Heads it down. Check couldn't get down into it in time. Nobody covering the back post. And if somebody was covering the back post, it may have kept out, but we'll never know the answer to that now. 3 1. Four goals for you in the first half, and we're not even done with this first half yet still a little bit to go and here's Ramos it's Ramos always oh, waiting for Ronaldo it's Mutu it's Risa it's Iniesta who just boots it out of play <laughs> he was offside anyway he's questioning maybe Ronaldo had some time to have maybe taken the shot there potentially and here is McCulloch that's going out of play Ooh, ball there, but will be picked up by Borak and goal for Wigan today. He's been beaten three times so far. Torres taken off the ball. And that'll be a Liverpool corner right at the end of this half. And it's cleared by the Wigan defence. That's going to be a foul against Ramos. And it's Iniesta there. Scored the opening goal. And that's half time. Well, you know what? I was talking about how bad sometimes these cup finals turn out in the first half for us or so. And, well, that one's going a lot better. It's 3-1. We're going to still in it. Second half is coming. 
Well, the job is not done yet. There is 45 minutes to go and Wigan have got to step up the game, play a little bit better than they did in the first half, especially defensive-wise. Here's McCulloch. Oh, that's kept out. Maybe should have taken the shot earlier there when he had the chance to. Iniesta cannot deal with that. So McCulloch again. Kept out by Mafio that time. Good sliding effort. And uh, Mafio also keeps that one out too. Here's Gerard. And it's out wide to Risa. Risa has put Mutu in. Oh! Could there be another chance where the goalkeepers had time to get back? Oh! Mutu's header there wide. And again, de sloppy defending. Look at this, just letting Mutu have it. It's crazy. Oh, foul on Ronaldo, the free kick was poor. Colaccini coming across. Here's Mafio in his um, DMF area to do. He, um, he does like to play. Here's Gerard. It's back to Iniesta. And he's, he's brought it back to Gerard, even though it was meant to be crossed into the box to uh, Mutu. Torres was a little bit far away from it. Henry Camera coming on for Wigan. Wigan feeling they need a change. There's half an hour of the game to go yet. That's an offside, apparently. Oh, okay, well, mm, fair enough. No, oh, Risa couldn't keep that one in. And Ronaldo is there to that. It's pretty poor. And it's Iniesta who uh, gets the shot on target. It's too easy for Boruk though. He just uh, scoops it up. Here's Mafio. Here's Gerard. And he puts in Torres. Torres who's turned him. It's Torres. It's Mutu. It just required a little bit of effort from Torres there just to turn his way from the defenders. Get into the box. Mutu. Slightly unmarked. Passed it across. And it looks like it's going to be Liverpool's day. Well, definitely now, I should say, but uh, uh, just this little bit of weaving here. And then again, the defenders. I tell you, Wigan's defenders today have been very slack. I'd be very, very disappointed in them. Because they've, just, they've not been getting to the ball when they should have. And that's what's cost them to do it. It's Gerard. It's Ramos. Back into the path of Gerard. Gerard, it's Torres, it's Risa. What? What was that by Risa? He had to do better there. That was just sitting on a plate for him to just smack that one in, but he just, I don't know, he just took too much time with it. That's an offside by Gerard. It wasn't even onside that. In fact, it was going more towards the corner flag. But uh, maybe he maybe he knew he was offside. Rooney, Babel, Fabregas on. Iniesta is off. And Fabregas is going to play in that position. Babel 
replacing Torres in this one for the um, last few minutes. That's a good ball, that. That's caught Reese throughout. Oh, it is an offside. Uh, maybe didn't catch Reese throughout then after all. But, uh, Ronaldo's off for Rooney, which is a, uh, another change made today. And there's got to be something here. Ooh. Okay, well, something's happened. Oh, no. Oh, Mutu's getting back up, but... It could still mean there could be potentially something bad there. There may be an injury at the end of it, and hopefully not. Rooney's going in. It's over everyone. Uh, all three subs are used, so... Yeah, when you make the free subs, you take that gamble. Don't really want Mutu to play on. Oh, Babbles in there. Very worrying, very worrying, especially with a Champions League final coming up. Danger there. And this could be a goal for Wigan. Check saves. It's going to be a corner. There's three minutes added on. We're all waiting on that news now about Mutu. You know, it, it, forget the cup final. We're all wondering about Mutu now and if he's okay or not. Oh, he tries to put Babel in. He pretty much did that. Almost. Goalkeeper's just going to boot down. Ramos is there. And then maybe, maybe avoid giving the ball to Mutu there. That's the cut final settled. Wigan pretty much lost it in the first half. Every goal that was put past them today was I, I feel like they really could have done much better and uh yep yeah, liverpool champions again of this one and um gerard's gonna lift the trophy but there is uh, much to discuss after this game. <laughs> much to discuss. But we'll just uh, live in the celebrations for now. Well, there appears to be no injury to Mutu. Um, he got them out of the match with an 8.0 today. But my thoughts for the end of the game were... Wigan got that goal off the corner and scored well obviously scored it with the head and it was a pretty decent goal to be honest Liverpool just caught napping a little bit and didn't defend good enough to obviously stop it um but three I think three of the Liverpool goals could have easily been stopped um by some slack defending at the back from Wigan so in my opinion it could have ended 1-1 that one you know what I mean the uh, the Mutu um pass into Iniesta um, resulted in the opening goal um, who by the way got 7.5 uh, Torres also got an 8 there as well he didn't score did he Torres today um, so yeah it, it was it could have ended one well, now we could have been playing extra time right now if they defended a little bit better but yeah you know d despite that I thought it I thought we can play a good game if that didn't happen we might have had a little bit more of an interesting match there it should have been probably 1-1 but 
Okay, fair enough. Uh, Ramos, great game from him yet again today. Really well done. Risa um, got a goal for himself, which I was really happy to see. Uh, Mafio, I thought he defended pretty well. He was solid. Um, 6.0 rating doesn't really tell the story. Um, I'd give him a 7 myself, I think. Uh, Gerard with an A. Ronaldo came off. Um, just the 6.5 there. And then, uh, yeah. That's the story of today. Well, we've got a player return, and it's uh, Joe Cole. He's looking fully fit. He's back. He's ready to go. Um, there was a little bit of concern that the mild injury might have made him a little bit unfit or whatever um, in, in the next few weeks. So, no, nothing to be concerned about there. Uh, I mean, suppose when it's a mild injury, it's it's nothing much. But, um, yeah, Mutu, he is fit and healthy and ready to go there. So that is excellent news. Well, that's your cup for uh, this season done and dusted. But elsewhere, if we have a little look, uh, we got uh, Deportivo beat Real Madrid in the final. Woo! That's interesting. <laughs> um, they got through Villarreal as well. They got through Zaragoza and they got real through Real Sociedad. So, um, yeah, Real Madrid beaten there. Um, who did Barcelona go out to? Oh, it was Espanyol in the first round. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, that is very interesting right there. Um, right here, we have got Palmer winning in the final of theirs. One against uh, Chivo Verona. So uh, well done there. They beat Juventus to get there. Um, they beat Udinese. Of course, they're not an easy team to beat either. And they beat AC Milan. They had a hard route, but they did it, man. That's, that's some achievement there. Well done to them. And uh, Ajax win their uh, cup as well. They beat Fenerbahce. They beat Anderlecht. They beat Ajax. 5-1. And then they beat Marseille in the final. 2-1. So well done to them too. Well, never mind all that. We come back to the league in the next set of fixtures. And in this one, this is where it's starting to get very interesting. Because after this, there'll just be three league games to go. Chelsea still fighting for a European place. They're at home against West Brom. West Brom are like... I don't know, ninth in the league or something. They're doing pretty well. Uh, I don't think they have really any shout at getting into Europe, but it could be tough. Manchester United are at home against Aston Villa. They're needing the points, are uh, United, to also try and achieve Europe. West Ham, meanwhile, need to get out of the relegation. I believe they moved down into a relegation position in the last game week. Uh, they're against Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough, who also need to get away from it. So that is a big game at the bottom there. Fulham. Or another team that need to try and avoid relegation. They're at home to Spares. Spares, who are Champions League finalists, of course. We United, who are second in the league, are uh, against Everton. Everton moved down to like fifth or something last time, I believe. Birmingham could be relegated this week, I believe. Um, they would have to win their four remaining fixtures. Are they going to do a Bolton? I doubt it. But the other results would have to go their way. Um... Arsenal is their opponent. I think Arsenal are like third in the league currently, so there is that. And uh, Newcastle and Wigan. Uh, Newcastle, they're looking just to keep the points and, and make sure they get to Europe next season. So it is it's really interesting as we come to the end of it. Four games to go. We're at Rangers, one of our favourite places to visit next. So join us for that one next time, guys. Correct, subscribe, and share as always. Good game today. We move on, and we're preparing for a Champions League final. See you next time.